Hi and welcome back everyone, welcome back to a new Black Desert mobile video. So today, okay, this will be a PvP video and a guide for the Ascended Warrior. So essentially the Gladiator. Right? So over here we have our Gladiator. Okay, so let's jump right into the skills okay, that we are using for PvP. Okay, so as you can see, this is our PvP skill sets. Okay, so let's go through them one by one. Okay, so starting off, we have Spinning Slash. Okay, so we all know what Spinning Slash is for. Okay, it does a lot of damage. Okay, of course, there's no super armor in the arena for gladiators. Okay, okay and there is a knockback on hit. Okay, so next we have Blade Strike. Right, so this allows you to do damage from a distance. Okay, okay next we have Ground Smash. Right, so Ground Smash is one of the better skills you need to have for the arena as a gladiator right because of the huge damage okay and of course because of the life stealing so at level 1 okay you get 170 HP back per hit okay so at level 3 that's 190 so this is a very good skill to uh, to spam okay to make full use of okay okay next we have shield charge okay shield charge doesn't act to isn't that exactly a damage, high damage skill, okay, but you can use it to cover a distance, a short distance quickly, and of course you can use it to start a combo, right, to give your opponent a stun on the first hit, okay, okay which uh, you can follow up with other skills, okay, and of course as a gladiator, okay, we need to have our grabbing skill, so that is take down, okay. Okay, so take down has super armor in the arena. Okay, next we have charging trust. Okay, so this is the other skill that has super armor in the arena. Right, so this skill is very good because it allows you to cover a distance quickly, and of course with the super armor and the stun on the first hit. Right, so make sure you turn this super armor on. Okay. Okay, and lastly we have. Scars of Dust. Okay, so Scars of Dust, right, for the Gladiator is an improved version as compared to the Warrior. Okay, okay, because for the Warrior, it is a very slow three hit skill animation. Okay, but if you look at this, right, this is just one hit or one slash, right, with improved damage. Okay, but do note that, okay. Scars of Dust do not have super armor, right? There's no super armor in the arena, okay? So make sure you do not start a combo with this, okay? And of course, uh, Battle Cry, which uh, will require you to have reach level 70. So for now, we do not have this yet, but once you have hit level 70, uh, make sure you use this for PvP as well. Okay, so okay, there's a reason why we are here out in the view, right? To, okay, to show some of the skills here, okay, in action, right, before we jump into the arena, right? For example, you have uh, Charging Trust, right, to cover the distance quickly, okay? We have our grabbing skill, take down, okay? We have Ground Smash, we have Spinning Slash. We have our blade strike. We have shield charge. Okay. Uh, heavy strike. Okay, and of course we have our scars of dust. Okay. So the reason why we have heavy strike, right, for now, as part of our PvP skill set, is because, right, heavy strike, right, knocks your opponent down. Okay, on the second hit. Okay. So that is a good, another good way to start off the combo. Okay, okay but there is something that you should note here. Okay, so because spinning slash, okay, one of the skills that we use quite often as a gladiator has a slow. Right, if you look at this, right, there's a slow spinning animation that your character does. Right, if you just use spinning slash by itself. Okay, 
So to remove that slow spinning character animation, okay, you can use another skill before spinning slash. For example, you can use ground smash. Okay, so ground smash and spinning slash. Right. So notice that the spinning animation that your character makes is gone. Okay. Okay, you can also use scars of dust before spinning slash. For example, okay. So you can see that the this spinning animation of your character is gone. Okay. So this will allow you to execute faster skill combos. Right. So make sure that you do not start off a combo with spinning slash. Right. Because that is very very slow. Okay, so without further ado, let's jump right into the arena. Okay. Okay, hopefully we will be able to match up against uh, different classes. Okay, so that we can okay, I'll try to explain okay what goes on okay while we are fighting uh, whoever we are fighting. Okay, so that is dependent on the class we are fighting. Okay, so we have another gladiator, uh, ascended warrior here. Okay, gladiator. Okay. Okay, so this is a good gladiator. Okay, right? notice how he is dodging my dashes. Yeah. Right. So against other gladiators, right, you have to be careful, right, because you can be countered easily. Yeah. Right, like this. Right, notice how I countered him. Okay, but do not overextend and do not stay right to a gladiator. Right, when you know that they are grabbing skill, it's up. Right, because they can grab you easily. Right, notice that I, I dodge away. Right, the reason for that is because, yeah, their grabbing skill is up. So notice I dodged away because he, okay I noticed that he was using his charging thrust yeah okay so let's try and start off a combo with shield charge okay okay notice that I rotated my skill wheel okay 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 so instant knockdown scars of dust grab and ground smash. Okay, so now we have a Paladin, okay. Paladins are one, one of the better PvP classes and they are very fast. So you do have to watch out for that, yeah. So when they dash forward to you, try and grab them, yeah. Try, yeah. So once again, right, depending on the state of your health, if your health is not at maximum, try and use ground smash two times, yeah? Right, to get your health back. Okay, so ground smash two times. Once again, ground smash two times. Okay, once again, ground smash two times. So hopefully we have a few different classes to fight against. Right, so we'll try 
to explain as we go along the fights okay in real time yeah so here we have an archmage okay so for the archmage okay most of her super armor skills in the arena right will be the skills where she uses her fire okay one this is the super armor skill that is another super armor skill so her super armor skills are down okay notice that i can easily charge to her okay after that So her super armor skills are down. Okay, so now we can grab. Okay, her super armor skills are down again. Okay. So now we can easily catch up to her and do our combo. Once again, her super armor skills are down. Okay, once again. Okay, ground smash two times. Okay, she got away. Okay. Okay, so once again, her super armor skills are down. And, okay. So notice that I was able to interrupt her meteor casting. Okay, because now in the arena, the uh, meteor casting does not have super armor. Right, so if you see a uh, Archmage casting meteor, Right, just run and interrupt right away. Right. Okay, so she managed to teleport and de sync out of the grab. Okay, it happens quite often in the arena. Okay, but okay, as long as we are able to get our health back. Yeah. Okay, so that is an Archmage, and one of the ways you can fight an Archmage. Okay, so we shall see what class we are fighting against this time. Okay, so over here we have a Huntress. Okay, so Huntresses now have super armor skills. Okay. Which is the Razor Wind. Okay. Okay, so okay, so this is the razor wind. Okay, so notice how I dash away before the last hit on the razor wind hit lands. Yeah, so that is what you should do when they use their razor wind. Okay. Or you can do this, right? Use your super armor skills and that includes your grabbing skill. So dash away before the last hit on the Razor Wind lands. Okay. Okay, once again, okay, make full use of your grab. Okay, we shall see what class this is. Okay, so this is a paladin. Okay, so paladins are very fast after ascension, yeah. So you do have to be alert and focus. Okay, when you're up against a paladin, yeah, regardless of their uh, CP, right? Because CP matters not as much. Okay, okay, after ascension, yeah. So you do have to pay attention as to what a paladin is doing. Yeah. Yeah. So this is what happens when you're not careful. Okay, so heavy strike for instant knockdown, followed by a scars of dust.
right? So against a paladin, right? Notice how I'm using my dashes. Okay, so sometimes you do have to sacrifice some of your dashes in order to get away from her fast combos and to counter her, okay? Right, so when your health is low, once again use two times. Ground smash. Right, to get back your health. Okay, that was a good fight. Okay, we have another gladiator. Right, so this will be an interesting match, yeah. Okay, always, right, always try and Try not to stand right next to a gladiator because uh, he can easily grab you, yeah? Okay, so as you can see, yeah? Okay, so if your health is low again, use two times ground smash. Ground smash, grab. Ground smash. Oh, okay, that was a good fight. Okay, we have a 4.7 player here. So this is an Archmage. Okay, so once again, right, we have to watch out for her spammer skills. Okay. okay so one of her spammer skills I got down. Okay, another one is down. Okay, so notice how we can easily catch her now. Yeah. So she used one of her another super armor skills again. Okay, so our health is low, okay? That is why we are using I will ground smash two times. Okay, so dash forward to grab and ground smash, scars of dust and spinning slash, yeah. Okay. Okay, her super armor skills are down. Okay, two times ground smash and followed by a spinning slash. Okay, our health is not at maximum. Okay, so we'll be using two ground smashes again. So that was a good fight. Okay, so hopefully this guides on how to PvP with your gladiator has been helpful. Right, so if you find this video to be helpful, right, do remember to share, like, and subscribe. And as always, stay awesome. And look forward to our upcoming videos. Cheers, man.